Hello again, Alan Steady here with Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can build a site-to-site -site IPsec VPN tunnel from your Sophos XG firewall to a SonicWall firewall. In this video, we've got Matt working alongside me here, who's going to be demonstrating how to configure the SonicWall side, so you'll want to see the link included in the comments section below to follow him along as he demonstrates how to complete that configuration. First things first, we're going to go ahead and jump into the web admin here of our Sophos XG firewall. All right, here in our web admin, first order of business is going to be to come over here to configure and VPN. And what we'll need to do is build your IPsec profile. Because I've got my screen kind of shrunk down here, we'll click this little button here, and that's going to expand some of our other options. However, your IPsec profile should just be listed up in your top menu bar right here alongside bookmarks. So we'll come on down here to IPsec profiles where we will define our encryption algorithms. So I've already got a SonicWall VPN policy defined here. And I'll go ahead and click on this just so we can take a look. Where we can see we can define our key exchange new to version 17 is Ike v2 on our Surface XG firewalls. So if you're running 16.5, hang in there. 17 is going to be released soon where you can have Ike v2 supported where Ike v2 is supported. So the main thing here in our VPN profile, what we need to have happen is this must match the configuration of the SonicWall side. So in our example here, we're gonna go ahead and use Ike v2. We can select our authentication mode here for main mode or aggressive mode. And scrolling down here, we can see we also have our phase one negotiation followed by our phase two negotiations. So what you'll wanna do is define an IPsec policy that is supported on both ends. Build that out here. So we'll just go ahead and save this guy. And then we can come over to our IPsec connection and actually build our IPsec tunnel. Go ahead and select the Add button. This is a nice new feature here added to our version 17, Activate on Save. We'll just go ahead and tick that guy there. And we'll go ahead and give this tunnel a name. Just call this guy our SonicWall VPN. We can see we have IP versions here for IPv4 as well as IPv6. We also need to define the connection type being site to site and our gateway type, whether or not we're going to respond or be initiating the connection. In this example here, we're going to go ahead and just set this to a respond only, meaning that our SonicWall side will be initiating our connection here. So depending on where your firewalls are situated, if you're behind a NAT, this gateway type can change. So for the sake of this example here, we're just going to go ahead and say respond only on our Surface XG firewall. Moving on down here under our encryption is where we need to select the IPsec policy, which we just built out. It's our SonicWall VPN policy here. And then over here under our authentication type, you can utilize digital certificates, an RSA key, or a pre-shared key. Again, a lot of this is going to come down to what's actually supported on either firewall. In our example here, we're just going to go ahead and use a pre-shared key. Go ahead and enter in your pre-shared key. Again, this is imperative that this matches on both ends other than our IPsec tunnel. will not negotiate, and it will never come up. We're ready here to move on to our gateway settings. Just go ahead and select the actual interface that's terminating our VPN connection. This will be one of your WAN interfaces here. We'll go ahead and enter in our gateway address because we know it. It is a known address and it is public. Again, depending on where your firewall is situated, for example, if it is behind a NAT and your WAN is DHCP, you can just leave this with an asterisk, which means we'll accept a connection from anyone as long as they meet our defined IPsec policy. So we'll leave our gateway address in there. If you want to use a local ID, such as the IP address, we can configure those options here for both our local Sophos XG firewall as well as the remote SonicWall firewall, which is typically a good idea. The more information you include in this, the stronger our security is. Next, we need to define our local subnet as well as our remote subnet. So if you haven't already created these objects, you can create them on the fly here with Create New and just go ahead and create your new network definitions or host definitions. We've already got ours created here. And this is just our internal network. So we'll go ahead and select our intnet object. And the same goes for our remote network. If you haven't already created the address object, you can do so right here. However, we do already have this guy. And this is our SonicWall LAN network. And we also have some other advanced options that we can do down here with authentication. In this example here, we're not going to be messing with any of those. So we'll just go ahead and save our IPsec connection. And we can see that our tunnel status is active and it is also connected. So our next order of business here is to create our firewall policy. So now that the Sophos XG box knows how to route to our SonicWall LAN, so what we're going to do is we're going to come on over here to protect and firewall to build our firewall policy. Just go ahead and say add firewall rule. And this is a user network rule. Give it a name. Go 
and stick this guy up towards the top. Next, we need to specify our source zone here. So this is going to be from our LAN network, which is our internet. Going to the VPN zone and our sonic wall LAN network here. Go ahead and apply that. We'll go ahead and nix identity here in this firewall policy and just use our general policy for our IPS. Enable logging and go ahead and save it. And lastly, we just need to configure our firewall policy from the SonicWall VPN to our internal network. So what we can actually do here is come on over here and clone this. I'll just clone this below. And this is for our SonicWall VPN using anything coming to our LAN. and flip these guys around here. Our zone will be VPN zone for our source and our sonic wall network. Coming to our LAN now and define our internet. And go ahead and clone this now. Okay, so our VPN tunnel's up. Now we've got both of our firewall policies in place. I've got a persistent ping running down here, and we can see that we're getting a successful ping response. So our tunnel is up. We're now passing traffic between the two firewalls, and that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, give us the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to us so you're notified of future video releases, and be sure to come check us out at firewalls.com. Get secure. Stay secure.